Our Andy Hetzel has been a listening in. He's the vice president with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan and uh, talked about uh, where we've been this weekend. Amanda was at Cedar Point. I was at the Bridge Walk with Governor Granholm and First Gentleman Dan Mulhern and on Mackinac Island. And I understand you were in Frankenmuth. Is that true? That's right. We were uh, having one last blast of pure Michigan summer and uh, took the family up there. Our little girl, Zoe, starts first grade today, and mm. we're all real proud of her, and uh, we wanted to send her off with a last good weekend of splashing around at Zender's and uh, eating some great food up in Frankenmuth, so we had a good time. That was a good thing because uh, Zender's has that indoor, I think it's Zender's, has that indoor pool area, and Saturday it was kind of cold and blowy. Yeah, and uh, Splash Mountain, I think is what it's called, uh, oh no, it's Splash Village, mm -hmm. uh, and we had a great time up there, Michael. It's uh, you know, it's just another example of the many fine destinations here in Michigan. So, uh, you know, we encourage everyone to, uh, you know, support stronger communities in the state by, you know, going out and patronizing Michigan-based businesses. And we were happy as a family to go up there this weekend. Did you have tough traffic getting home? No, not at all. You didn't. No. You got Great. lucky then. Both ways. I had a lot of traffic coming back. Now, she must be very excited about first day of school, first grade like that. How are the, how are the parents feeling? A little nostalgic about it? Yeah, it's a, it's a little bittersweet for us, Michael. It's, yeah. uh, you know, first grade is that uh, sort of passage time, and, uh, you know, she's no longer a baby, and she's headed off to school, and, you know, she's, uh, you, know, you know, working her way up, and we're all real proud of her, and, um, you know, we just wish the best for her. And for all the students going back today, you know, one of the things I wanted to talk about this morning was, you know, students are back in school, Michael, and, you know, we all care about our kids. We have to be extra cautious now. Uh, the kids are back in school. We have to obey uh, the traffic signals that are on the back of the school bus. We have to take care not to text and drive, especially uh, when kids are present. Um, you know, it's, it's a state law now that you can't text and drive. And, you know, you have to pay attention to the posted speed limits in school zones. We have to make sure our kids are safe now. Yeah, it's a simple thing to do if you can just let up off the gas a little bit and be extra aware. And then, of course, if you have kids in the car and you're texting, you're sending a bad signal anyway, setting a bad example. No one should be texting and driving, not after Governor Granholm signed that new law, and uh, it's a good one. Uh, it'll keep people safe and keep people focused on the road. You know, I always get a kick out of my 13-year-old Harrison because I'm sure when your daughter comes home today, you're going to want to know, what happened? How did it go? You know, what did you do? And I would always ask him, and he'd, I'd say, what did you do today at school? And he'd say, ah, nothing. <laughs> I'd say, but you were there for seven and a half hours and you did nothing? But, <laughs> but I'm sure she'll come home with lots of stories to tell, and, and uh, it'll be very exciting for everyone. She always does, Michael. And, uh, you know, we're trying to keep our kids healthy and safe. And, uh, you know, we just want to encourage everybody out there to uh, take extra caution now that the kids are back. Students will be able to stay on their parents' insurance longer now under the new health care reform, as I understand it. It used to be right as soon as you were out of college, you were done, no longer student status. But now they'll be able to stay on their parents' insurance longer? Yes, up until age 26, if they're dependents, they can stay on their parents' group coverage. Uh, but more pertinent to the, uh, to the younger population of kids, Michael, um, it, starting uh, on January 1st, uh, if you are a child uh, newly enrolled in a, in a health plan, you can no longer be um, to have a waiting period for your coverage to kick in. A lot of kids come into coverage with pre-existing conditions, and insurance mm -hmm. companies can place waiting periods of between 6 and 12 months on them. Mm -hmm. uh, that's a positive aspect of health reform that we're promoting uh, through our website at Blue Cross, bcbsm.com slash health reform, people can go there and find out about that change and many others. That's great to hear. bcbsm.com, that stands for Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. We'll get you off to uh, first grade there, and I'm sure you'll be waiting for her when she get home, and it's great for you to spend some time with us this morning. We're very proud, Michael. Thanks for the time. I bet. Andy Hetzel with Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan.